What's up everybody and welcome to another vlog. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing another mod to this car today. Uh, this time we're working on the suspension. So I partnered up with Ultra Racing USA and they provided everything that we need to make sure that this Veloster end stays planted to the ground no matter where we take it. Whether we go on a canyon run, whether we go to the track, this thing's gonna be sticking to the ground. So let's go over to a buddy's place. He's got all the tools that we need and let's get this taken care of. So I just made it to the homie's house. God! This thing is mean. I kind, now I kind of want bags. But God! Look at those things. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do strut bar first. So we got struts. We got rear, we got front, and we got rear sway bar. So let's put these things on. All right, so first thing we gotta do is take this entire trim thing off. Uh, so this entire thing has these little connectors, or little pins, right? Push pins kind of thing. So what you wanna do is you wanna put something right in there and it'll sink down. And after that, no, just lift a little bit. They come right off. So we're gonna go ahead and continue taking this off. If there's anything specific that I need to bring up, I'll go ahead and show you. Otherwise, we'll just do a little time lapse. So these little caps that go on the windshield wipers, I got to just shove your nail in there and you're good to go. All right, so taking this off wasn't hard at all actually, it was pretty easy. So besides those, uh, little plastic uh so besides the clips uh all you have are your windshield wipers that you got to take off that's real easy 14 take that off wiggle wiggle each one of them off of there super easy then the entire thing just shifts down and you got this entire thing exposed so while we're here i'm actually gonna take that annoying thing off because nobody needs to hear fake engine sounds so <laughs> I'm serious, bro. That's the sound enhance enhancer or whatever. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. And that thing vibrates. Oh, it's notorious for vibrating. Oh, so, shoot. yeah, it sucks. Just unplug it, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna unplug it, remove it, nice. and just zip tie the thing and done. Yeah. All right. Other than that, all we need to do now is take these three off on each side, and. Good to go. We'll be good to go. So we're gonna get going on that and go from there. All right, so 
So now that we're ready, so those are 14 millimeter also. So pretty easy to take off. And then we gotta take off that little metal bracket that comes with it. And here's the strut bar. So all it should be is just placing it here. Nope, put it the wrong way. Yeah. Make sure it's the right way. <laughs> and then you gotta get rid of the leaves too, you know? Oh yeah, gotta get rid of all the dirt. Uh, lift, we gotta lift it up. Yeah, we gotta lift it. Just. And then we'll just pound it with the mat a little bit. Yeah, you always gotta just, you know. Give it a little love. Yeah. A love tap. Finesse it in there. <laughs> so we're gonna put that on, put it back together, show you what it looks like. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like once you put it on. So all you gotta do is it's pre preferable to have uh, somebody else's help. So that way you got you know two people, one on each side. You set it down, make sure that it aligns correctly, and slowly put it down. What we ended up doing is we used the mallet so that way we didn't hurt the finish or hurt the strut bar at all, and just patted it down on each side. And all we gotta do now is put these suckers back on. Yeah. Put them back on. And I know somebody in the comments is going to tell me what are they supposed to be torqued at. I don't know yet. Let me figure that out. And then uh, I'll let you guys know in a few minutes. So we'll just tighten these guys up. And we'll go from there. Now, this strut bar is going to be completely hidden. You're not going to see it because we're going to put the entire plastic piece back on. Perfect. All right. So, tighten it down. I couldn't find the torque specs. I just tightened it down. And now, putting everything back together. So, the opposite way that we put it, took it off. I'm going to put these back on followed by the windshield wipers, followed by the little plastics. We should be good to go on this. And then we'll get started on the rest. So all we did was take this whole plastic piece, slide it back in there, and then after that, put the windshield wipers back on, 14 mil, tighten it up. All you got left to do is to put these little plastic clips back on. You know, find the hole, and then put it in. And that's all there is to it. I'll get that done, but that's how you're gonna do it the entire way. And that's it. So I'm gonna finish it up, show you what it looks like done. <laughs> all right, so put all the little plastic clips back on. So this middle piece, you gotta lift up and then it'll go in. And you got one, two, three, four to put on. The little side trim pieces that go there. And that's your strut. So we're gonna go ahead and Get the car jacked up and start on the rest of the <laughs> Start on the rest of the stuff. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> start on the rest of the stuff. <laughs> what the hell? A few moments later. Alright guys, so the car is now on jack stands. And we have the front strut bar that's already done we have the rear sway bar that we have to do and we got the mid uh, bars that we have to do as well so right now we're going to start with the mid bars uh george is going to go ahead and uh start taking it with impact real quick i'll show you what it looks like under the car so for the mids you're going to go ahead and take that 19 off and then you have one way over here so you gotta take both of those off but to make it easier you loosen up 
this brake line just to move it over a bit. At least that's what we're doing. Uh, and then that way we can put the bar in place and should be easy going. So we go. God damn. That bitch is wrong. <laughs> so that's the one that comes out from the back. <laughs> Here you go. So now we'll use the extension because we're going to need it. Yeah. For the back. And then. And then we'll do them both together. Where's the other one? What did I do with mine? Ah, it's over here. Alright, you can let go on my side. Okay, got it. Here, you want to tighten here? Alright, so we're going on the sway bar now. And while George gets that one kind of going, I'll tell you what's going on here. So you're gonna use a 17 to loosen this guy up, but you're also going to use an Allen key there to keep the uh, the threads in place. So you can actually loosen and take that uh, that nut off. And then after that, very simple, you're going to have two that you take off on either side and it should come off just uh, as easy as that. So let's uh, get going on this. All right, so the sway bar comes with all the hardware you're going to need. So bracket, the bushings. So you're going to go ahead and put the bushing in here and then the bracket's gonna slide in and it'll go into the stock positions. So let me go ahead and show you guys how that's done. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this bushing here. He's nuts. Bro. <laughs> Got it. And then we're gonna bring it in here, put it right up against this. And that's pretty much how it'll go. I don't wanna put the bracket on yet until we're under the car. So that way we can see exactly where it needs to be positioned. But do it on both sides and then we'll put this thing on. Okay. Uh, Damn, there's not a lot of weight. Push the bar towards you. Well, pull it. Yep. And I got it. I got it. I got it. It's in. Okay, cool. Woo. I'm in. Woo. That part. Oh, the bushes gotta go further in. Yeah, hey, I told you. It's gotta go on the other side of the the, of the thing and thing. Of the twing, 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 twing. Where the. <laughs> All right, so we got it on. We're gonna hit and tighten up the support brackets that came you know, with the bushing. So put it on there on both sides. And then you reverse it where you put the uh, nut back in. That they was the uh, six millimeter judge. Allen key? Yes. Six so, millimeter so, Allen key. so six millimeter Allen key on the outside of the thread so that way it doesn't spin with it. And we are good to go. Now it's time to drop the car. All right, so the stabilizer died on me. So you guys are handheld. So we went ahead and did everything on there. 
We got the mids, we got the rear sway bar, we got the front strut bar, and I am dark. There we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drive it. I'm gonna give it a couple of days to drive it around, see if I feel the difference, what difference I'm gonna feel. Uh, maybe go through the canyon a little bit, see what's up. Uh, but overall, for somebody that really doesn't deal with suspension, which is me, I don't deal with it at all, it was actually really easy because we really didn't have to mess with the suspension at all. It was just uh, two little M links, I guess is what you call them. You guys are gonna know better than I do um, for the sway bar and that was it. So let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments, like the video, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.